Once upon a time, in the ancient Benin Kingdom, the cradle of black civilization, there lived kings whom we were called Ogiso. And after the successful reign of five Ogiso, the title of the kingship was turned from Ogiso to Oba. First known Oba. Oba Ogola, God King. Oba Ogola is the first known Oba of the New Kingdom. The first person to bear the Oba title. He was known for defeating Chief Akwani Jakon of Udo and also for digging the first and second moat in the New Kingdom. Baogola dug the moat to fortify the kingdom against external invaders, especially the European invaders who are sardine the scouting from for African slaves. When Obaogola saw that the purpose of the moat were given achievements, then he made a decree that important towns and villages in the Benin Kingdom could construct similar moats in their communities. This gave birth to 20 or such moats. But that is not all. At the second part of the 15th century, during the reign of Oba Ewai I, Oba Ewai the Great, Oba Ewai the Great, it decreed that the moat in Benin should be extended all around Edo. Edo is the present day Benin city. As at then, it was the capital of Benin Kingdom. My children, as at this time I'm talking about, Benin Kingdom extended down to the present day Ghana, even the present day Benin Republic. Benin then was a civilized kingdom. That is why when the white came, they said Benin City is the cradle of black civilization. That means civilization in Africa began It was a home of treasure, a lot of bronze, too much crafts, pottery, and so many artifacts were being constructed then in the old Benin Kingdom. Benin city is an ancient city. My children, the moat that surrounded Benin city was constructed in such a way that the sand dug out of the deep, long, narrow hole provided a wall in form of rampants ranging from its shallow traces to immense deep 66 feet high all around the new city. This was called the Great Wall of the Day, which the God Guinness Book of Records Holds that it is the largest man made network on planet Earth. And it is the second greatest wall just after the Great Wall of China. My children, the moat that surrounded Benin City had nine gates. Remember, it wasn't just moat, the moat provided the wall. It had nine gates, and these gates were closed at night. These gates were mounted by warriors, strong warriors, physically and spiritually. Benin City, the entire Benin Kingdom, was a land of warriors. As I then, Yakubu for one. 
And when it was declared national monument, it had been removed the maintenance of the moat from the Benin chiefs and kings to the hands of the federal government. Since then, the moat has become refuse dumps. The moat then became the site for drainage in the city. The wall of the moat was destroyed and used for construction purposes. My children, mm. as you speak, some places that people call them chiefs, call themselves chiefs in Benin Kingdom. They bought part of the moat and feed part of the moat for to build their own personal houses. This great archaeological structure in Benin was destroyed. And today, the site of the moat has become either for criminals in Benin City. Children, we quantifying the time that was used to dig the moat that surrounded Benin City. You have 150 million man hours. That is to say, if one man was to dig the moat that surrounded Benin City, it would take him 150 million hours, which is 86,101 years. That is to say, if one man was to construct the moat and wall that surrounded the new city, it would take him 150 million hours. That is 18,601 years. That is 223,204 with months. That is 223,204 months. That is 892,857 weeks. Children, that is six million two hundred and fifty thousand days that was used in constructing the moat that surrounded the main city. And these were destroyed and given away to the color of an I wish the Bini moat and wall was still at its peak today have been attracting the same global attention just as the Great Hall of China oh. and the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Maybe the new city wouldn't have need to invest in rubber or other mineral resources. Tourists would have been paying Everything we need in the new city just to come and view the moat and the wall of the yes. yes. Children. But you see, for today, we will end here. And I will tell you another story tomorrow. The new kingdom is a kingdom of stories. There are a lot of history that you all need. So that I can pass it to generations to come. Mm. Can go in and keep it. Oh, yes, sir, man. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. That is the story. The ancient animals. The animals that surround the city. My people, please, to get more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Remain your humble, right?